Hey guys, so it's that time. It's time to choose a winner for this month's setup build. And in order to do that, I have to show you the 10 finalists. To make it fair, I had a group of people go through a stack of submissions, and that's how we got the 10 finalists. Now I'm gonna show you all 10 setups, and from there, you guys are gonna vote, and the top two people will each win a $250 Amazon gift card. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can vote and when the winner will be announced. Also, shout out to kit.com for making this month's prize possible. Possible. They are the ones giving away the $500 in total. So huge shout out to them. And that's actually how we were able to track all your submissions because you made your setup on kit.com. So let's get into the first one submitted by Don Carlo. Uh, if you take a look here, he actually made a 3D render of the setup, which is awesome. It's really nice to see it in real life. But taking a look here at his kit, you can see he called it a $1,000 gaming slash productivity setup. And first thing we see is a nice ultra wide by LG. Now this one's 29 inches, more than enough, obviously 34, you know, it always makes it a little bit better, but when you're working with a thousand dollars, there's not much you can do. He also has the A2 plus from audio engine. Those are fire. I have those and they're, they're just so good for the price. So really like seeing those on there. Now the desk is the Linmon Alex combo. You know, we see this all the time. Uh, simple works, got storage, uh, good. And like you said, simple, large, cheap. His mouse is the Mionic. Myonix multicolor ergonomic optical gaming mouse. He says it's reliable, cheap, and comfortable. Never heard of it, but I'm sure it's it's more than fine. Uh, same with this Vortex mechanical keyboard. Never heard of it, but he claims it to be amazing. Now, uh, also he's got a extended mouse pad. Always good to have one of those. Always adds to the setup. Um, LED, same thing. It's always just a nice little thing to have a little bit of spice. Uh, and then, of course, a fake plant from Ikea. Um, Awesome. I, I like it. It's a very simple setup. And if you look at his Twitter, the picture really kind of shows how it's going to look. It's, it's going to look powerful. Uh, it follows through the whole theme. And I, I like that. It looks really, really nice. But it's up to you guys to decide if you think he really deserves it. Next up is Viewer Boys Gaming Plus Streaming Setup. He's got a extra long countertop for $69. Go figure. Uh, he's got an extended mouse pad, an Alex drawer in white, which is great because you use it as a part of the legs. So that's two legs out of the four that you'll need uh, plus you get storage and then he's got a multiple canvas painting Ah, uh, man, I don't know. Do you guys think that's a good decision? That's $142 of his $1,000 budget just towards a big ass canvas painting. Don't get me wrong, it will look badass. Not that specific photo, but a canvas painting will look badass, but is that the right decision with this budget? Now, he's also got a wall mount for his monitor, and the monitor is a 34 inch Acer, which is nice, a very hefty part of the budget, but hey, I like it. I think it works. And he's got the two remain, remaining, two remaining Adil's legs to, to keep the desk up. Uh, nice mouse choice. Uh, Fingal swivel chair. I don't know how comfortable that is coming in at $40, but a uh, good way to save some money. And he's also got the ATH M20Xs for $45. He's got the, uh, ooh, a nice combo mic. Mic arm, pop filter, all that stuff, $36. Mm, I like that. Um, these are also pretty cool. RG, RGB lamps. I showed these off before. Shout out to Carlos. Uh, a Signum for wire management. PVC pipe. I mean, this dude went above and beyond. And for those of you wondering about the uh, the, the keyboard, here it is. The AJAZ Mech uh, KB, which is red, and $17.52. And just like him, yeah, how? Uh, and to add, add it up to the next level, he's got himself Doritos. So, hey man, they're party size. I like that. I like that. Next up is Molly's submission. She says this setup is the ideal setup for anyone who's into gaming, graphic design, the color purple, and Disney. So as you can tell, she made it kind of geared towards herself. Got the uh, Lin Mon Adil's table. You have a nice uh, 25 inch LG ultra wide, which is is good because it's a nice way to to get an ultra wide but not spend a lot of money. Uh, we got a kind of like ripoff of DX Racer GT Omega sort of gaming chairs, which is nice because it fits the the color theme and also seems pretty comfortable. You got a, a Wacom, <laughs> Wacom all mall, <laughs> Wacom, Wacom. I know people are going to flip out that I'm saying that wrong, but uh, she was saying graphic design, perfect for graphic design in that sense. Steel Series Siberia 200 gaming headset, 
purple. I like that. I like that. Uh, Corsair. Ooh, Corsair Gaming Saber. Yeah, this is nice because RGB set it to purple. Same with the strafe. I like that. These are good peripheral choices right here. Uh, and of course, got some LEDs. Ooh, the anchor, uh, anchor for under your desk with the headphones. Signum, I like how this all come together. Ooh, you got yourself a Ikea LAC wall shelf. And, okay, well, you know, you, you're just, you're obviously making me like it a lot because it's Disney. That's why I needed other people to come in and help. But, uh, you know, Cinderella Castle, I know some people are like, really, dude, you like that? Uh, got some pop vinyls, which is always nice to put on those shelves that you had. And I actually have all those pop vinyls. Uh, Setup Addicts mouse pad. Again, really scoring points with myself because obviously I, I like that one. Uh, Cyber Acoustics speakers. I don't know if you guys think that's a good choice. Um, up to you guys, of course. And then three fake plants. So everybody's, everybody's kind of playing towards the fake plant thing to add a little bit to it. So uh, really, really like this one. But again, it's up to you guys to decide. Next submission is from Samuel. This is his thousand dollar gaming setup. And he wrote a lot to the point where I'm just going to skip it. <laughs> no, no hard feelings, right? Uh, so here we go. We got the Scarsta desk sit stand from Ikea. The same 25 inch ultra wide from LG. It's a very common one. Uh, Razer Death Stalker Chroma and Naga. So he's got his uh, Razer fanboy shining. He's also got a XXL gaming mouse pad. The same freaking speakers as the last one. This is getting weird all of a sudden. Uh, we got like an off brand USB wired gaming headset that's green. It's kind of following through. Speaking of green, he's got his GT Omega. So we're seeing a lot of green here, which I like. Uh, he's got the Signum. He's got a nice uh, headphone stand, more LEDs, and that's it. So that's all he has in his setup. So thousand dollars well spent or all wasted on razor products <laughs> a kid next up is Kristen, and she is a twitch streamer and she of course had to throw in her link so go spam her uh, but she said this is her dream thousand dollar setup so i'm gonna assume it's for streaming so with that in mind we have the cooler master master keys pro l with intelligent rgb and cherry mx brown switches by cooler master keyboard uh then we got the razor mamba we got a dell mm, those thin muzzles Am I right? Um, HyperX Cloud 2, those are great. I have those. Sure, MV5. Apparently, these are freaking awesome. Uh, haven't actually tried one, so I can't tell you. Uh, Homal Racing Chair, another off brand. Looks pretty comfortable. C920, of course. We haven't seen a, a webcam thus far, and webcams can be pretty important, but obviously, if you. Uh, don't need one. You don't need one. Then we got the Ikea mom. These are great for wires. I like that I like that uh, more LEDs. Ooh, even some uh, velcros. That's good some adhesive cable tie mount bases I like that a big big surge protector and that's it for this setup. So guys what you think? Yeah, you're nay. Next up is Will's swaggy setup, and I'm not gonna lie. I was just looking this over. I'm like, how the hell did this one make it on? Cause it's so damn good. Like it's it's got a lot of expensive things, and yeah, I scrolled through and realized he has a freaking ultra wide that costs a thousand dollars. So uh, it was probably like a mistake. He probably meant to keep this monitor on, but um, yeah. And he even said, I wish I had two of these. And these are $471, so I just don't, I don't know how this got through, but regardless, sorry Will, but you fired. Next up is Elliot's gaming setup for $1,000. Taking a look at this, he's got the Alex desk, which is uh, great. It's got storage, all that fun stuff you'll need. A pretty cheap IKEA swivel chair. Uh, HD 598 from Sennheiser, good choice there. AT 2020, some LEDs, Corsair K70. I like that. I have that keyboard. It's sexual, and I also have the M65. I like that. It's also sexual, but of course, I'm not going to be the one to choose. But again, someone else choosing the Setup Addicts Panoramic Desk Pad. I like that because they're they're playing towards. Me, obviously. Uh, Signum, another thing towards me. Another anchor headphone mount. Uh, this was interesting. A 23.6 inch Acer display. So does that ruin it for you? Do you like it? Let me know. Uh, obviously, it's it's meant towards uh, gaming, and he wants 
two of these. So it's up to you guys. Do you like it or not? That's Elliot's submission. Next up, we have Alfie's $1,000 productivity setup. And uh, starting off, we got the Lidmon Godvin table combo. Uh, that same Fingal swivel chair we've been seeing a lot. And the A2 Plus again. Uh, and then another Corsair Strafe. We're seeing a lot of the same things here. But this is actually the first MX Master we've seen thus far. Uh, another extended mouse pad. Even the IKEA cable management kit, which is nice. More LEDs. And then another Dell display. This one is certified refurbished. Bold move, my man, because it is 4K coming in at 350. So you guys like it or not, let me know. Uh, and then, of course, something to mount it to the wall, which is a nice little feature to have. So that right there is Alfie's submission. Next up is Kogan's $1,000 media creation, gaming, and work setup. So we got the DX Racer. I like that. A nice uh, glorious PC gaming extended mouse mat. Death Adder from Razer. And, of course... He's got to add the Black Widow because he's a Razor dude. Uh, and then here we go, another 25 inch LG ultra wide display and another Linmon Alex table combo. Uh, he's got the Razor Kraken, certified refurbished. Again, bold move, my man. Uh, another Signum, another, this is basically the same one, but in, in silver or white or whatever. Another headphone set uh, stand, rather. More LEDs, another C920, and that is it. So that's for media creation, gaming, and work. Kogan setup. What do you think? Last but not least, we have Tim's setup build for May. There doesn't seem to be a theme attached to it, but we see he's got the countertop with the Alex drawer and two legs, like a lot of people uh, have done already. We have the Cooler Master Havoc. Uh, we got another Cooler Master keyboard. A nice chair. Looks simple and cheap. I like that. Uh, Siberia V3 Prism Gaming, uh, which also looks good. More LEDs. Another 25-inch LG Ultra Wide. Seems to be a theme here. Uh, extended mouse pad. Fake plants, again, some pop vinyls, a uh, dual monitor mount, which, uh, did he say he was getting two of those? Let's see. Yeah, two of those. I like it. Bold move. Bold move. So uh, he's also got a smart mood light with notifications for iPhone, iOS, and Android smartphones, something we haven't seen. Pretty unique. I like that. Uh, some cable management loom stuff, a USB hub, which is cool. And, oh, I like that. Freaking flamingo to kind of top it off. So that right there is Tim's setup. So now that you've seen all 10 submissions, really nine, but whatever, uh, you guys have to vote. The top two people will win $250 Amazon gift cards. So go and click the link in the description to vote. Again, remember you're voting for who used the $1,000 the best to build a whole setup minus the PC. I'll be tweeting from Swash and TV's Twitter account on June 2nd with the two usernames of the people that won this month's giveaway. I'll also be tweeting out the theme for setup build in the month of June. So stay tuned for that if you want another chance to win whatever next month's prize is. That's it though, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget, I'm Matt Philly and you're not. Get out of my face. Have a great day and I'll catch you on the flippity flop.